Now that we have made it through singular and plural nouns, let's look at the singular and plural pronouns. We talked about pronouns in the last class, um, about how they are words that take the place of other nouns, so we don't have to repeat ourselves so much. Um, but they're really super specific for singular or plural nouns, so let's look at those. So I'm going to begin by putting singular nouns on one side and plural on the next, but then we're going to kind of meet in the middle. So if I'm talking about one boy, I'm going to use the pronoun he or him. He means one, him means one. If I have many boys, actually we'll come back to this part in a second. Let's continue to look at the singular part. If I have one girl, it's going to be she or her. Okay. If I have one thing, it's going to be it. So for singular pronouns, I have he, him, she, her, or it. Now, plural pronouns. I can have many boys or many girls or many things, and I'm going to use the terms they or those or them. All of these mean more than one. And I can talk about they, they, that group of boys over there, or those boys, or I can talk about um, them. I need you to put them away, all your toys. All of those are more than one. Now, if I'm talking about a whole group of people and you're not part of the group, if I'm talking about them and I'm not part of them, or you're talking about them and you're not a part of them, we, we talk about they or them or even those people. If we're part of the group, if I'm part of the group I'm talking about, or you're part of the group you're talking about, then I'm going to use the words us. Do you want to go with us? I'm already part of the group. Or I'm going to say we because I'm part of the group. We are going to the movies. Do you want to go with us? I'm already here. You can come too. That's how that works. So singular pronouns, if you're talking about yourself or I, um, we'll get into some possessive pronouns next. So, sorry, I'm waiting for that to go away. Singular pronouns for talking about someone that you are talking to is you. Do you want to go to the movies with me? Two singular people. Now, you can also be a plural pronoun. When I come into class and I say, I need you to get out your books, I'm not just talking to one of you, I'm talking to all of you. We call that a collective noun or a collective pronoun. Um, you have homework tonight. It's not just you, it's all of you, okay? That's super important too. So on your assignment today, let's look at it. You have to match, so this pronoun refers to one boy, okay? Well, her is a girl, us is more than one, she is a girl, it is a thing, he is one boy. So I'm going to choose he. And now you have a pronoun that refers to one girl. And here you have another pronoun that refers to one boy. I've taken he out of the options for this list, so it won't be confusing. Um, another pronoun that refers to one girl, one thing, a group of people that you're not with, a group of people that you, another group of people that you're not with, uh, a group of people that you are with, this pronoun refers to you, and another pronoun that refers to you, and even another, as you know, to go do this section about singular and plural pronouns.